Alana Nation, welcome to RBI. I'm sitting here with Tyler J, who's perfect, even <laughs> though you're a guy who does your thing on the mound. You know a, a thing or two about RBIs. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you go. <laughs> well, glad to have you here, and, uh, you know, exciting times for you coming mm -hmm. off a record-setting season for Illinois baseball. You go sixth in the draft to the Minnesota Twins. Uh, you're in the, the beginning of your career in professional baseball. Now you're about to head south to Florida to start spring training. Yep. A lot going on. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's just still going super fast for me. I mean, from draft day to, you know, how our season went in college to playing out there this, this summer to the, my first off season. It's kind of just like being a freshman all over again. So. Uh, what, what a year you had individually, Big Ten Pitcher of the Year, yeah. uh, the, the, the program uh, ascending to new heights, getting within a, a win of going to the College World Series uh, until you ran into that bus off from Vanderbilt. Mm -hmm. Talk about the range of emotions for you, if we can go back a little bit, oh, yeah. to, to losing that Super Regional here, but then getting the call that you're the number six pick yeah. in the draft. It I mean, is, you're, it, you're talking about... <laughs> it is crazy. I mean, it's... I mean, it's perfect for a closer because you got to have a lot of oh, emotions yeah. you can handle, right? Yeah, it's... I mean, you can even go back to when we were in Dominican. Uh, Vanderbilt was with us, like, when we were playing down there, and... You know, I kind of played with some of those guys on USA, and I knew them. And you know, you kind of had that kind of like that get like the game where if we lose, like we're done. And we just had such a good run, and to kind of know that you know, 15, 20 minutes later, that a lot of my buddies on that team were getting drafted. <laughs> like, I'm gonna get drafted. Kids on our team right. might go the first day. So it was just really, it's kind of like a day you don't you'll never forget it. I mean, your family's there. You're you're crying on the field with all your buddies because you know, like this is the last time you play with them to. 15 minutes later, you have your your buddies that are soup. Like you can see on their face, like just so happy for you to get picked up like that early. And it's just kind of like you can't even really put it into words how how it makes you feel. How personally gratified were you to become a not only a first round pick in the Major League Baseball draft, but a top 10 pick when three four years ago, you know, a lot of scouts or you weren't on a lot of their radars or people were saying, hey, this is a can't miss kid. And you yeah. worked your way to that level. How much personal satisfaction did you take from that? Um, it's nice. I mean, I don't know if it's personal. It's just more of the people who, who didn't think you could do it and mm -hmm. to constantly try to put you down on, on what you kind of, you know, deep inside want to accomplish. But to be honest, I just wanted to just keep on playing. I didn't really think, oh, I want to be first round. I just was hoping I'd get called at all. And I think just I exceeded what I thought out of myself, and I think that's kind of hard to do for me because I'm pretty hard on myself. So, uh, Illini fans, alums, uh, this rabbit fighting Illini nation always likes to see uh, an orange and blue guy at the next level in any professional yeah. sport, and we look forward to the day when you'll be coming through Chicago maybe on the <laughs> north side or, yeah. or the south side pitching uh, for the Twins or wherever your career takes yep. you. Uh, have you set a timetable for yourself or how fast you want to get to the big leagues? Um, no, not at all. Um, especially, I know, from what I understand, I'm going to be switching roles to a starter. So I haven't done that since high school. And, you know, it's going to be a learning process. It's going to be, you know, better hitters. You know, everyone's just taking that next step with me that I'm facing. So, you know, everyone's trying to reach, you know, one goal is to play in the majors and hopefully win a championship there. So it's just kind of, you know, i got to take it day by day and just get ready and get used to and adjust the things that I have to do different from being in the bullpen to starting. So it's just, you know, I'm not really concerned about it. I know if I keep on doing what I'm doing, it'll get there one day and just kind of have to go about it. So that's their plan to stretch you out. I mean, yeah. you know, le left-handed uh, starters are, are a commodity yeah. in Major League <laughs> Baseball. Go. Yeah. So uh, you look at some of the dominant lefties uh, in the big. So yeah. uh, the Twins have looked at you and invested a lot in you. Mm -hmm. uh, does that put any pressure on you, knowing that, you know, they not only want you to come – be a you know a part of the staff but be one of their primary starters in the rotation yeah i mean it is it is stressful in the sense that i haven't done the starting role before but when it comes to it, it's stressful off the field when i get on the field i don't really think about it i'm just playing and doing what i've you know prepared to do and You're just thinking 60, yeah i'm just thinking i'm <laughs> there's my spot i gotta right. hit that spot and, and that's really it and i'm really simple-minded when it comes to that it's just the the struggle of you know when you in the bullpen, if you have a rough outing, whatever you you, you know you got a chance, you know in the next couple, maybe maybe the next game or the the game after. It's, you get uh, that amnesia pretty quick. Yeah, you, you just get forget just, about you forget it, and, about it and you go. And hopefully, I can keep on keep that attitude with starts because you know you have a rough start or something. It's gonna they're gonna happen, and you have a rough start. You have five days to think about right, it, right. and so it's just kind of making sure you know I can keep that. Some of the stuff I learned how to like do mentally in the bullpen and just kind of 
like use that as when I'm kind of trying to be a starter now. So, tell me about your experience here at Illinois and uh, how much of an impact it had on you off the baseball field, and how you're going to carry that with you as you begin your professional baseball oh, yeah. career. Yeah, uh, when I came in freshman year out of high school, I mean I was really, I mean pretty quiet kid, and you know everyone was like, man, that kid doesn't talk. Like all the older kids are like, <laughs> right, what's right. up with that guy? Yeah. And I think just off the field, there's how nice like the players were, like the older kids with like KJ, you know, you have Drayson Johnson, Robert McDonald, like just personality guys that kind of just changed me. And uh, my guy, Ronnie Muck too. Like just <laughs> the guys that just really helped like me change as a person off the field, which, you know, really does translate to how you perform on the field. Cause they, they knew, they were telling me like, hey, you got, you know, you got some good stuff here. Just, you know, you got to tweak some things here. Like, just like relax, have some fun. And I really like, you know, I really, admired them saying that and I took it to heart and tried to do that and I think just off the field and then when it comes to on the field I mean I got the great coaches I mean mm -hmm. Drew left-handed pitcher who was dominant when he was here you got Dan just Snyder like all the coaches I've ran through here just have helped me you know just personally and like on and off the field whatever it comes to family stuff when it came to baseball just anything I could ever want in anything. And I, I imagine Coach Hartley played such a big role in somebody you're going to continue to lean on oh, yeah. as you move forward. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's great to, you know, like, you come back here and you can say, like, hey, can I throw a few innings or a bullpen or something there? And they're just excited to just have us down here because, you know, I mean, <clears throat> you play here and you have four years, three years, whatever, to make a difference with players. But, I mean, to come back and still make a difference for guys is kind of huge. Now, you, you have a – budding baseball family going. I don't want to put too much pressure on you. You haven't proposed yet. Have you? No, but no. your girlfriend yeah. <laughs> is on the softball team yep. playing her senior year, so you're going to have a little long distance thing going. Yeah, talking about uh, oh, getting yeah. stretched out. Yeah, it's going to be interesting. We've got a little taste of it this summer, but yeah, I'm excited to see how the softball team does and everything. I mean, I'm looking forward to it. And it's, uh, Allie. Yeah, Allie. Yeah. Is your girlfriend yep. there, so she's got to be excited for you but she's a ball player so she understands oh yeah yeah understands and I mean it'll be nice for me to watch on that game tracker on the bus or something watching their games and it's kind of nice getting to know all of them too so I kind of just know kind of like what they all do and stuff and they're pitching and they're hitting and like what they're doing so it's cool kind of got a whole nother team how do you want to represent Illinois uh, as you move on to, to, to the pros and you know, it won't be too long before you're in the big leagues. How, yeah. how do you want to carry that eye with you as you move forward? Just just people who work hard. I mean, you, when you're here, you work hard. You have, I mean, we had one goal is to get to the championship, and it carried us a pretty long way. And so it's just, you know, not even just Illinois. It's just the Big Ten players. I mean, we're hard-nosed guys, and we, you know, we don't get a lot of credit for being in the Big Ten and playing, especially baseball. Mm -hmm. And it's just nice that we kind of get to, you know, guys who are from the Big Ten, you know, get to the locker room in Fort Myers and you have Big Ten, Big Ten, like you see, they're, they're excited for Big Ten guys. It's just cool. And uh, I just want to know, like, you know, we work hard and we take it, like, our schools in specific, like, to pride. When you got the signing bonus, how quickly did you write that check to the iPhone? <laughs> <laughs> not yet, not yet. It's but, coming, yeah. though, right? Oh, yeah. But, you know, yeah. yeah. Down the line, you know. Oh, yeah. you, Getting the arbitration free agency yeah, out of Yeah, once line. I figure it out, yeah. <laughs> hey, Tyler, yeah. all the best to you. Absolutely. Thanks for joining us yeah. here on RBI. Tyler J. Hi.